Hi, I'm Clyde Tiffany, agronomist with DuPont Pioneer. We're in Renville County taking a look at our mid to early group uh, one maturity soybean varieties and how well they do in an extremely difficult area for iron deficiency chlorosis. We're in a part of a field that has very high pHs, high salt contents. And these one row plots really help explain how we might position them differently. Our standard in the plot is 91Y80. I'm standing in front of 91Y40, which a lot of people have come to expect to have very similar uh, performance as far as capability to deal with uh, extreme chlorosis as, as 91Y80. So Y40s look quite good in this plot. I would contrast it to a newer variety that we just brought on, 91Y10, which is down here to my right. 91Y10 would have very similar uh, look to the 91Y80, which is right next to it, or actually it's maybe subtly better than the 91Y40. We move on down the lineup. Uh, you can see there's some other varieties that don't tolerate this type of soil quite as well, including uh, one of our products, 91Y41, which is an extremely high yielding variety, but it's got to be placed on the right soil types. It cannot be placed in a, in a field where we've had a history of iron deficiency chlorosis, otherwise you're going to have stunting with it. So in that case, we'd probably either think about at that maturity Y40s or 91Y10s.